Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of July 2024. I'm gonna pull an eight card spread, see who you're dealing with this week with romantic intentions towards you, whether it's somebody new or someone you already know right now, Scorpio. My job is to see who you're connecting to, why you're connecting to this person, what your story could be with this person, how things may unfold for the week ahead. Just keep an open mind that I do get very nosy in these readings, I don't hold back and I do not sugarcoat my messages. So if you hear a message and it doesn't resonate with you, just let it fly. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you are in full control over your choices. Not that I have to tell you, Scorpio. I just feel gentle reminders are you know, helpful even in my own life. So with that all being said, let's get nosy. All right, please tap into the energy of Scorpio today. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Who is Scorpio connecting to and why? And can Scorpio trust this person's intentions with them? Scorpio is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today. As long as what comes through is for Scorpio's highest and greatest good. Eight card spread, two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Scorpios. All right, let's first look at the person heading towards you this week and get a look at how they feel about you deep down. We have the chariot. This is major arcana for cancer. This person's intentions with you this week. The sun, major arcana for Leo. Their next behavior and actions towards you this week. The ace of swords, that's air energy coming through. Whew, you're getting a lot of clarity with someone this week. Someone's excited to talk to you about something. They got some important news. Whether this is someone that you talk to on a regular basis or someone that you haven't really heard from much, um, regardless of the situation, you've got communication coming towards you and someone's excited about it. What's your feelings towards this person this week, Scorpio? The seven of wands, that's fire energy coming through. You might have fire in your chart, like in your top three. Uh, your challenge this week, the seven of cups. I'm seeing some repeated sevens. I got three sevens here. So sevens might be something you're seeing a lot or you're dealing with a Cancerian born July 7th or 1977 or just sevens are just a very important you know, theme for you. Look up the meaning of sevens, okay? Some of you may be life path number seven. Let's take a look at your weekly outcome, Scorpio. We have the four swords, and I hope you can't hear my stomach growl. I always get breakfast to do these readings. Your advice, the three of swords. You might have to tell someone how you truly feel about a situation, even if it hurts their feelings, okay? Someone's coming to you to talk about something, and they don't want you to hold back what you truly want to say to this person in order for something to start you know, moving forward is what it kind of feels like, especially with that four of swords as your weekly outcome. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. What's your overall energy this week? The seven of swords. Influenced by the four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. For some of you Scorpios, there's some deception surrounding you and this person whether you guys are not being honest with each other or you're not being honest with yourselves or together you both have to do things in a very sneaky way in order to keep other people out your business. Okay, this is where I'm gonna have to really dig deep. And what I'm noticing is another seven. One, two, three, four sevens. That's significant. And seven times two is 14. 14 is the number of temperance, Sagittarius energy. So some of you guys may need to balance something out for you and this person to like move forward. Okay, interesting. Some of you, the number 28 could mean something to you with those four sevens. July 28th. Ooh, July 28th with all these repeated sevens, you know, four times seven and it's 28. Number seven is July. July 28th might mean something to you and that's when we step into Leo season. That's gonna be for somebody here. You could be getting very clear communication on that date. Doesn't mean that you're not talking to this person right now, Scorpio but July 28th may be coming in very significant. Now, if you end up watching this video way beyond that date, then there's another message here that I'm pulling in and I'll get to it in a moment. So let's break it down. Okay, let's, let's break it down. I'm gonna first begin with 
your person's feelings for you. And then I want to dabble into the Seven of Swords really quick, just so I can rule out a few things. I don't want to make any speculation. So right now, your person's feeling the, the, the chariot for you. Um, the chariot as feelings, that's the energy of feeling confident in the direction that you're taking a situation. So they feel confident in how they're approaching the situation with you. They, they feel like something's going to work for them, work in their favor if they take this approach. Why the chariot for how they feel about Scorpio, please? Aww. This card always breaks my heart. Um, and the death card. The death card, the four of cups and the knight of wands. Someone sat on something so long that someone started to get a little antsy. And I don't know what that's referring to. Like someone sat on expressing their feelings too long or someone didn't make a decision when they were supposed to or someone was just like dragging feet in some regard. But I feel like with this Four of Cups energy, this is Moon and Cancer, I'm strongly getting that Cancer season, someone like um, felt entitled to more timing or felt entitled for, for your time or for your support in some regard as they were going through a transition with that death card. For some of you, just for some, okay, don't shoot the messenger. For some of you, you may be dealing with someone that needed to break out of a prior commitment before stepping into something with you. That's not gonna be for everyone, okay? Um, and for others, oh, I need another card on that. In fact, I'm gonna use a different set of cards. Hold on for a second, I'm gonna get out my purple cards. These purple cards get very, very, <laughs> very nosy. Give me another card on that. What is this person trying to tell me about Scorpio and their feelings for Scorpio? They feel like they, they took too long. They're telling me, crap, I waited too long to do something. Four of Swords again. Four of Swords is right here. Four of Swords plus Four of Swords equals the Eight of Swords. This person may be telling me that they felt restricted in some way and that's why they didn't take some sort of initiative or someone got in their head and may have sabotaged something. Um, or they're possibly getting to that place this week and someone's trying to prevent sabotage from happening. I mean, this is my no contact card too. So some of you guys might be on a, a, a timeout right now because someone was like dragging feet in some regard. Um, and if that's not the case, give me another card. Your person is really being stubborn with me on something. Maybe that's what your struggle is with this person. They're stubborn with telling you directly what is what. Maybe they're very indirect with something. And with all this Cancerian influence, if you ever look at a crab on a beach, they walk sideways. And I was looking at this crab earlier. So I'm feeling, feeling like during cancer season with that crab there, someone was not being direct with you. And Scorpios hate when people are indirect. You are just like Virgo. You're like, give it to me straight, I can handle it. What, what's going on, do you need more time? Are you not ready for me? Are you not ready to tell me how you feel? Are you not ready to make this decision? I'm okay, just tell me the truth. That's Scorpios. Scorpios don't want the freaking fluff. They don't want the sugar coating. Um, I'm a Scorpio rising. <laughs> if you come to me indirectly, I'm, gonna, I'm just not gonna even respond. Um, so I'm getting that for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's get back to the regular clarifying. I'm gonna use these cards again. So I'm getting that this person is being very indirect with you, but with that sun as their intentions and their next behavior and actions being the Ace of Swords, you can't get any direct than that. You can't get any in your face, here's the truth, here's my truth, this is what I feel, this is what I know, this is what I want, than the sun and the Ace of Swords. That's like, overexposure of truth. This is like truth bomb central. When you think about the sun and the ace of swords, it's like maybe even oversharing. You're like, all right, you don't have to tell me everything. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting off you, Scorpio. This person's like confession time. It's confession time. I need to clarify the seven of swords to see if you're the one coming in this energy or this person or the both of you. All right, clarify that seven of swords. Someone could have Aquarius in their moon placement. Someone's like sneaking off right here, like taking what they want peacefully. Like, like you can picture someone going through a breakup and just sneaking in the house when they know their person's at work and just taking all their belongings and moving out. So if for some of you, someone's leaving someone to be with you, but that's not for everybody. Why the Seven of Swords? 
the Five of Wands and the High Priestess. Scorpio. You're giving me this type of situation a lot. Um, there's a secret here that someone's keeping to themselves because they know if they reveal it too soon, oh, heck would break loose with the Five of Wands, Leo energy. So it's like your person may feel like something needs to be kept quiet right now, whether you both are in on this or not, in order to like ease into something peacefully at Leo season. It's like cancer season, you both need to be like very hush hush about your romance for whatever reason, whether you guys work together and you're not allowed to date at the workplace or someone was still getting out of a breakup and it was like too soon to post on Facebook, all right, met someone new, or there was something else involved. Like someone shared a residence with somebody. I need to dive into your feelings. I feel like you'll, you'll tell me more. Scorpios seem to open up to me. I got a lot of Scorpios in my life. Two of them are my kids. You guys seem to open up to me. So let's see. Why the Seven of Wands as Scorpio's feelings? Why the Seven of Wands? 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 The Chariot, Cancerian energy. The Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. But this is also Scorpio and Pisces. The Six of Cups, Cancerian energy in the world. So I'm getting Cancer season being a very pivotal time for you and somebody. Not Gemini season, not Taurus season. It's Cancer season is where everyone was in their feelings about something. And then we move into Leo season, which is at the end of July. And then all of a sudden everyone knows what to do because they spent some time in their feelings, Six of Cups. And I'm seeing that butterfly. And even though this is Leo's major arcana, I always think of Scorpios when I see butterflies. All right, you guys remind me of it. You guys are very transformative. Scorpios go through a lot in their lifetime. And that's why you guys are tough. That's why you guys are as strong as you are. That's why you don't like it when people sugarcoat shit to you. You're like, uh, I got a thick skin. Just give it to me straight. I've already been through enough before my 10th birthday. Give me it to it straight is what I get off of you. So I feel like someone's finally giving it to you straight um, very soon. Very soon. You're going to have every bit of information you want, even if it's too much information. So let's clarify this person's intentions. Some of you, you may be moving on from your past with that chariot to the six of cups. And for some of you, you're either dealing with a, an actual Cancerian, whether Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or you've got heavy placements in Cancer too. Like you have a lot of moons that uh, sit in the zodiac sign of Cancer. You might have like a stellium in Cancer for some of you. All right, why the Sun as this person's intentions? Why the Sun? Justice. Libra energy, Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Whoa. Is someone going through a divorce for you? That's not for everybody. And for those of you who are not in a third party, where there's no like romantic, no romantic third parties, someone may be trying to do something in a morally correct way in order to uh, ease the backlash. Like if you guys work together and you're not allowed to date at work, this is the energy of like talking to someone first about it before it becomes public. And if that's not the case, um, someone may be still dealing with something legal related and can't come towards you. Like if someone wants to move in with you or you move in with them, someone may need to finish a lease agreement with that justice card and Leo season is when the lease agreement ends. Or repeated Libra energy. Libra feels like it's an important zodiac sign for you. Like Libra makes sense to you, unless you're a cusper or you're dealing with a Libra. There's something about Libra and energy. Well, Libra talks about truth and cause and effect. Every decision has a consequence, whether a good consequence or a negative consequence. Every action we do comes with a consequence, a balancing of the scales. 
So your person intends to either open up and tell you the truth in order to get the consequence that they want out of you, which could be you being favorable to them. Um, it's like they feel like they have to tell you like everything. And the Queen of Swords is the one that's holding that sword in their hand. It's the truth speaker. And the Queen of Swords is very direct. You can't get any direct than the Queen of Swords. Well, maybe the King of Swords. But someone's getting ready to be very direct with you. And your advice is to give it to them too. Don't, don't hold back anything that you want to say. If they hurt your feelings in some way, if they left you feeling like you weren't good enough or deserving enough of some sure sign that they were serious about you, speak up about it. Don't, don't hold back. Because I'm strongly getting a Scorpio that um, is reflecting on how the connection first started and how passionate the connection was, how exciting it was, and may feel like around this time frame things have, may have been dormant where you feel like you only have the memory of the connection at its best, at its peak, and now you're worried that this is on the way out. Or there is a third party and you want to acknowledge it. You want to address it. So let's take a look at the challenge. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Someone may be getting a new tattoo or someone's a tattoo artist um, or very artistic or just like channeling in all their depression or all their frustration for the situation into art. Okay? And it's starting to like get someone more caught up in that than what the reality of the situation is. It's like someone wants to be able to escape reality right now, but that's challenging the situation even more. It's like someone wants to like sweep something underneath the carpet, put it off on hold. On the Seven of Cups, the hanged man putting something on hold, unable to see a different perspective. That's what's challenging your situation the most. Something's been on hold and someone's like, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why are we not moving forward with that Eight of Wands? It could be due to someone's resonance with that tower or like um, something, something had to suddenly change. Some of you, you might live far away from this person and that's what's affecting it. And you came up with the chariot earlier. You guys may live thousands of miles apart. Hmm. Or what's challenging this is someone's worried about what this information is going to do for the future of this relationship because the tower can be very shocking. It's like, will my truth shock Scorpio to the point where Scorpio is like enough? Because that tower is your major arcana. This is you throwing this tower down, you know, and towers always have to happen. You know, when a tower comes in, it's not coming in for no reason. It's coming in because you guys summoned the tower because the situation was too, too confusing. And I feel like I said that to you, not recently, but like a couple of videos ago. Um, may have been for your end of June reading. So your person's next behavior and action, Scorpio, is the Ace of Swords. Someone may be dealing with a sick dog, you know, just as I say that temperance, all about healing. Someone may be going through like a health scare right now and needing time to rest and recover. That could be what I'm getting that Four of Swords repeatedly. Maybe some of you are dealing with someone that is in, 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 you know, needing to rest, needing to take good care of themselves, to heal, maybe overexerted themselves in some regard because that Four of Swords came up for your person. That could have been a health scare with that Dev card. And this person wants to talk to you about it. Maybe this is why they've been acting distant. Maybe their health is scaring them. I don't like to do health reading, so I'm just going to let that go. Why is the Ace of Swords in our next behavior and actions? The Hermit in Reverse and the Eight of Wands. Now, the Hermit in Reverse is the energy of if someone has been quiet, very withdrawn in energy, it's coming out of hiding to communicate. Eight of Wands is also about communication that allows something to move forward and to progress. Sometimes, though, the Hermit in Reverse to me could be too isolated, like you turn your phone on, do not disturb, just to have like an afternoon to yourself. And then you're like, hmm, that was actually nice. I'm not gonna take it off of do not disturb for the next few days. And it's like, you get comfortable with being very isolated and hermity, things like that. So someone here may have needed a little bit of a break, a mental break for a swords to rest because they were pooped about something or overwhelmed or feeling mentally stressed out with the decisions that have been ma being made that's like leading to someone feeling really exhausted mentally. Someone needed a break, someone needed some rest. 
Okay, but I feel like communication is coming through. I need more information about what this communication is about. But I'm gonna use my other cards, hold on. I really get into your reading, Scorpio. Every time I'm about to do a Scorpio reading, I get super excited because you guys are not boring. <laughs> Doesn't mean I favor you or anything like that. I love all zodiac signs, but I'm sure a lot of tarot readers all feel the same that there's certain zodiac signs that come in with a little bit of spice, or you know, there's some zodiac signs I'm gonna like fall asleep reading. But anyway, just sharing that. I like reading for you. Give me another card on this person's behavior and action. Was Page of Swords? King of Wands, Six of Wands, that's strong Leo energy. Page of Swords is thinking about a solution. Page of Swords is researching, watching, studying. It's also looking at someone's Facebook, Instagram, watching their stories, trying to get a little bit of insight on what the other person's up to if there has been some delay in communication. It's like, hmm, I've been a little MIA in Scorpio's life. Let me just scoop their Facebook up and look what they've been up to for the last couple of days, see if they've been like dating anyone new, you know, forgotten me. Um, things like that. Trying to get their strength back up with all this Leo energy. Leo is the strength card. It's all about um, rejuvenation, feeling confident, feeling strong, feeling fueled up, ready to go, coming out feeling very confident. Um, someone's feeling a little bit better about something as they've taken some time to think on things, Page of Swords. Um, and I am seeing that Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So the Nine of Wands is exhaustion. It's the wounded warrior. It's feeling exhausted in some regard. They might be telling you things about um, like their health and things like that. Maybe you're like, wait a minute, you don't have to share all that. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe I'm getting overexposure of something. Like they're overexposing, not like in a perverted way, overexposing something that they're dealing with and you feel like you don't need to know about it. You're like, hey, you don't have to explain. Don't worry, keep that to yourself if you want. Um, the weekly outcome is the Four of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. If I get another seven. Um, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups, that's something moving along for a new beginning to begin, Ace of Cups, whether that's you on the journey of self-love or you gaining closure from this person and then being like, all right, thank you for the closure. I'm just gonna meet someone new instead, Ace of Cups. Or you and this person are getting a chance to like put some romance into your relationship after things kind of went a little wonky, okay? Um, I need to clarify your advice first though. I mean, there's something about, I don't know if you've been dealing with this person for seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Look into repeated sevens, okay? And see what they mean for you. Maybe look at your seventh house. Look at what's going on in your seventh house, Scorpio. What activity is happening or in their seventh house if you have their natal chart. Why the three of swords? The seven of freaking cups, I, I swear. Uh, the Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Swords. I'm strongly getting that someone was stalling, um, delaying a ending with another to be with you or vice versa. Or there was like some gossip that was starting to threaten you guys' relationship. Someone was trying to spread lies, spread gossip, and someone was trying to like keep their romantic life private because they knew gossip would start to spread like wildfire with that Five of Wands. Okay, but they definitely want you to open up with this person and let them know how you feel about the whole situation. Whether the good, the bad, the ugly, they want you to be honest with how you're feeling about the situation and not to sugarcoat it. So if you're in no contact with this person or the situation is very confusing, I'm gonna pull your person's hidden feelings to see what they wish that they could tell you, if they could tell you anything at all. Um, for zodiac signs that came through this reading, Scorpio, I have Leo here. Strong Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer the most. Um, Virgo is here. Libra is here. But it really could be any zodiac sign. Oh, and Aquarius and Taurus. It could be any zodiac sign. When I see repeated zodiac signs, it's usually just telling me that, you know, that's the main energy you both are in. All right, when you think of cancer energy, that's the fourth house, that's, that's home. Someone's home life may be a little bit, you know, chaotic right now and the Queen of Cups is the mother. You know, someone's mother may be involved here or a mother figure. 
And then when you look at all this Leo energy, that's the sun. That's all about your confidence, the way you see the world, the way you, you're treating yourself. Um, it's all about staying positive, that something is going to work out the way it's meant to, things like that. And all this Libra is talking about balance. And Libra is the seventh house, balance in relationships. Someone needs to balance out their relationships, otherwise it's going to wreak havoc in their social life. Okay? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video, BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. That's two Ds, not one for Baddison. Last but not least, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs, Their Feelings for You spread, where I do a similar spread, but you see my face, I'm more engaging with you in the chat. I'll link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did. It will be titled All Signs. Click on that, go to the timestamp, and look for the Scorpio timestamp because you don't need to watch that three and a half hour live stream. Just click on the timestamp that you resonate with and you know go from there. And I did do your July Love Monthly. It's in my July playlist. So if you want, of course, you don't have to. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. For some of you Scorpios, someone wants to reach out, but they're scared that you're gonna reject them. And I already had that right here with the Four of Cups. In fact, Libra had something similar. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me? I still feel connected to you, but I waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Our belief, or, oh, rewind, learning how to read again. Our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. All right, so there you have it. Just spend the rest of your um, week smiling to your cheeks, sir. I feel like something is going to work out the way it's meant to. Just do what your heart tells you to do, okay? So, I love you. I'll take a look at your weekly update in a few days, all right? Later, Gators.